Hi everyone, it's Serena Liz here. Welcome back and today we will be doing a mini unboxing haul and a Ulta haul. Things that I've gathered in the last couple of times I went to Ulta in store or that I have bought online. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. brand and if you're not if you haven't heard of this brand it's totally fine i mean i don't know how popular it is but it's called moira beauty i actually ordered some stuff online uh through one of the influencers that i've seen on talk tiktok uh, she's known as michaela so michaela if you're watching this um eventually <laughs> uh this is because of you so let's go ahead and open what's inside so the very first product that i've actually purchased from Moira Beauty is actually their 12 piece bundle. It's the Diamond Days Liquid Eyeshadows. I would show you guys all of them, but I'm going to show you guys one at a time. But as you can tell, these come in individual packaging. They're actually packaged in a plastic wrapping as expected. And let me go ahead and do a quick close up for you guys of these shades. I've heard things similar about this product that they're similar to the one from Stila Cosmetics or even e.l.f. Cosmetics so let's go ahead I'm going to show you guys one at a time so this is a shade gold star it's very like a rich golden traditional shade it's very shimmery as you can tell um, from what I'm seeing so far is that some of these are more shimmery than others so I'm excited about the shimmery ones the next one is eye contact as you can tell it's more of a, like a bronzy champagne color it is also very glittery next one is like a true silver it's called treasure trove again this one i got it in a 12 piece bundle you can get these individually as well which they have it on moira's website the next shade is goodness and this is more like a rosy gold color and as you can tell this one is doesn't have as much glitter it does have some shine to it so that's what i was talking about is that this is kind of similar to the ones from stila cosmetics there's two different kinds from stila there's one with chunky glitter and there's actually that that is one that's a liquid shadow so this is like two in one if you will some are glittery and chunky glitters some have chunky glitters and the others do not this one is called Stardom. This is more like an opal shade, as you can tell. It kind of has like an iridescence to it, which is pretty cool. And I mean, look at the shade. It's, it's a true brown copper-like finish. This is again, this is not as chunky glitter as the other one. This is more like a liquid shadow and you can use this as a base and possibly top it off with one of the other ones that actually have chunky glitter. In fact, uh, that's the name of the shade. Is has this one's like an in between, which is a little weird, surprising to me as a first impression. This is actually is in between of chunky glitter and not chunky, so I'm not sure how the performance will do on that one. Now, for the more unique shades, we have in pursuit. This is more like a pretty purple pinkish shade. We can see that there's a little bit of glitter here. I'll go ahead and swatch some of these for you or all of this, these for you. I would include this in after all of these products. And for those of you that don't know, I actually do not like the shade pink. And this one is pink. It's called Regal. I will be a true rebel if I wear this. <laughs> so if anyone's interested in seeing an eyeshadow look with the shade Regal, go ahead and leave a comment down below. The next shade is actually Air Glow. This reminds me of Unicorn Tears from Too Faced. Very iridescent, pretty purple, pinkish. The last one, it's like a true peacock color called Green Paradise. So I know I mentioned earlier that the Moira Beauty Diamond Days Liquid Eyeshadows remind me similar to the ones from Stila. So these are actually the ones that I wanted to compare it to. Basically this Stila one here is called is the Glitter and Glow. 
as you can tell, it's more of a chunky glitter right here. And the next one from Stila, this is the Shimmer and Glow. So as you can tell, this is more of a cream matte, rather for a base. It does give some shine to the eyes, which is really nice. The Stila one definitely has the same texture as the Moira one in terms of the Stila's Shimmer and Glow. Um, there also another quick difference that you can notice between both the chunky glitter and the non-chunky glitter between the Stila's is a difference in cap color. So let me go ahead and swatch some shades for you. So the one that I'm swatching right now is Stardom. As you can see, it's a very iridescent, true iridescent shade. This is what it looks like on the bottle. I actually really do like the packaging. It's fairly sturdy. It's easy to hold. And in case if you're wondering, it is a... Hello. It looks like a doe foot because it's fuzzy. Yes. What is it called? Doe foot. Doe. Doe foot. Doe. Doe foot. Yeah, doe foot. Like, okay, so I was right. Foot. So I was right. What doe foot? Hey. Go away. <laughs> so the shade that I will be swatching right now is called Stardom. This is what it looks like on the packaging outside of the plastic box, of course. It's actually very sturdy. It's like a plastic material and it has a doe foot applicator. So this is Stardom. This is what it looks like. It's like I said, it's a very true pink iridescent shade. Obviously it shows different colors and different lightings. So this is what it looks like. I think this will be actually be really cool on the lips to give like a nice holographic effect. Um, we may give that a try. This is Airglow, and here is a swatch. It's, this is reminding me a lot like a galaxy, very space-like. Um, if you're into this, this, you would definitely love this shade. It's so much prettier in person. I hope the camera is making justice. And here is Gold Star. It's a very true gold, like I said. This kind of reminds me of like the Fenty Beauty Highlighter by Rihanna. I'm pretty sure you can get creative with these eyeshadows and not just use it on your eyes, but you can probably use it on the lips. I would probably not use the applicator directly on the lips as it can probably pick up the lipstick shade if it's not fully dry. I know some products tend to do that. So I would recommend like putting some on the palm of your hand or, and then just using a brush and apply it that way. Or if you're more comfortable applying it with your fingers, by all means, or maybe you can just do something silly, just kiss your the back of your hand where you have the swatch. And that's one of the beauty, beautiful things about makeup is that you can actually get creative. It's a different form of art. The next shade is In Fact. As you can tell, this has like a similar to the shimmer and glow, but it also has chunks of glitter here and there. I will tell you from the time, uh, from the ones that I've been swatching so far, they all seem to have this very rich, creamy, and soft texture. It doesn't seem like it would be drying on the eyes. Yes, I know I have glitter on my eyes right now, but this is actually the first time I'm swatching these and the one and then I'm seeing them in person, and they're just so beautiful, so creamy. I'm not sure how long lasting these would be, but I'm pretty sure that if you, as long as you prepare the eyes, you should be good to go. And one of my favorite shades, it actually matches my shirt right now. It's called Green Paradise. It has a beautiful sheen. Again, this is super creamy and I, I don't see a problem with these. I hope, I can't wait to actually try these on my eyes and I will let you guys know my opinion later down the road. The next product I wanted to talk about is the Lip Divine Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mariposa. So it's, this is more like a mauve brownish, 
almost pink type of shade. I'll go ahead and quickly swatch it for you. This is what it looks like outside of the packaging. Again, it's plastic packaging and it has, as expected, a doe foot applicator. Oh, I was wrong. This is more so of a pink, of a pink brick color. It's picking up a little bit. I would say this is more of a coral rather it's it's not like your typical everyday nude lipstick but it does have a pretty color from what i can tell on the back hand of my swatch is that it's very creamy very soft it looks like very hydrating let's see i'm gonna give it a few minutes to see if it will settle down so i can show you guys it after so when i showed you guys the swatch earlier it's actually when i first swatched it out of the tube you guys saw me swatch it and this is now when it's dried down to matte. It doesn't feel dry on the back of the hand. I mean, granted that there's some areas that's still a little bit wet, but other than that, it looks pretty good to me. I'm not sure how long lasting this is, but I'm excited to try this. It's super rich, super creamy. I know some liquid lipsticks can be super drying on the lips. For example, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Some of you may like those, some of you may not. Uh, for liquid lipsticks, I like using the Kat Von D, KVD Beauty liquid lipsticks. They're really good. I personally have the shade like Bow and Arrow, Lolita, and other and some other shades that I can't remember at the moment. So the other product that I wanted to talk about is called the Lucent Cream Shadow in the shade Earth. This is like a earthy greenish tone. It does have some glitter to it. And this is what it looks like. It's similar to, kind of reminds me of this shade here, the Green Paradise. It has some similarities. Obviously this one's more blue and this is more on the greener side. So they're not lying when they say this is a cream shadow, eyeshadow. This is what it looks like on the back of my head. It's super creamy, super pigmented. As you can tell, it's really rich in its color. It's a true green. Um, it does have some shimmer, but oh my god, these are super creamy and pigmented. I would recommend these from just the simple swatch of the back of my hand. Last two products that I got from Moira Beauty are simply just two loose glitters in the shade Sweet Talk at any time. This is Sweet Talk, so we're talking about loose black glitter. And anytime is more like a gray, dark gray gunmetal glitter. As you can tell, this is a simple twist the cap type of product. It does make a sound when you twist the cap. So that's just the only con about this packaging. It does have like a seal to it, which is really nice. And you can actually see the color. I actually like the clear packaging of this. I'm enjoying that a lot. This is what I mean about the noise. So now moving on to the most exciting part is the Ulta haul. Let's see what I got at Ulta. So this is the product that I got. It's just the Ulta Beauty, like an acetone a nail polish remover. It's pure acetone. I've actually tried this. This is my second bottle. Uh, I almost ran out of my current bottle, which is why I picked up a second one. The next product that I picked up is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Setting Spray. I actually have been using it in the last couple times that I've been doing my makeup routine and I can say, granted that there is still some transfer proof when it comes to makeup, but I feel like it definitely solidifies the way my face looks, if you will. It melts the makeup very nicely. Of course, you guys have all heard about Urban Decay and like I said, I've used the bottle before and this is what it looks like. It comes with a cap. And then it has another cap at the bottom in case to avoid spilling. And this is what the bottle looks like. I actually like it. I know the packaging says ultra glow, but I wouldn't say it's really glowing. I'm currently wearing on my face as foundation is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And I, I don't see much of a glow. Granted that I did use translucent powder on my face, but I use this to set my makeup at the end of it. 
to keep it intact all day. I did see some transfer earlier today when I was out and about shopping, but other than that, I didn't really see my makeup budge as I would before I started using this. So I would highly recommend to check it out. Like I said, it's not super dewy, which is nice. It gives a kind of like a healthy glow, if you will. The next product that I picked up is the Kiss Lash Glue Liner. I've actually seen this online over TikTok or Instagram in which these unknown brands, other than Kiss of course, that they use liners to apply lashes. It's supposed to make them, it's supposed to help you apply them much easier and smoother. Of course, uh, when I saw this, they actually have two colors. They have black and clear. I obviously chose black. I usually wear eyeliner on whenever I do my makeup. Today, I just did not, but I haven't tried this personally, so I'm not sure how good it is. I will test this out next time I wear lashes, but so far I'm really curious and intrigued. And it does look like it has a felt tip, which is nice. Something really random that I picked up at Ulta was actually this cute hair clip. It's very like a cute, unique design, if you will. It's made of metal and believe it or not, the, the claws actually hurt. I have very smooth and straight hair, soft as well. And it's kind of hard to maintain my hair when it's really soft and straight. So I'm really hoping that this clip would really help hold it together when I have it up in a bun or simply when I just simply gather my hair together in the back. So I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce this brand, but it's this brand, Sechubit or Sechubite. Um, if you know how to pronounce this brand, go ahead and comment down below. <laughs> but it's actually a fast drying top coat. I've actually used this before in the past and I picked up a second bottle because I remember that I really liked how this top coat worked. I've tried their OP the OPI and Sally Hansen and looks like I'm just going to keep going back to this one so I would recommend it if you like painting your nails a lot. So I actually picked this little bottle up. It's the Bumble and Bumble hairdresser's oil. It doesn't really smell like much. It has like a pump clearly. It's, this is actually less than one fluid ounce and I wanted to try this because I know a lot of hair salons use Bumble and Bumble and I remember last time I went to the hair salon they used Bumble and Bumble and it left my hair looking super soft feeling very lightweight I just lately tried this earlier on some of my ends of my hair and it made it seem super soft silk silky smooth and also feel very light so I can't wait to actually try this product again like on my entire ends to see the overall result and for my daily go-to moisturizer is the Aveeno Positively Radiant with SPF 15 it is important to wear SPF before you put makeup you can also buy makeup uh, such as CC creams with SPF in it it's important to that is crucial in a makeup routine if you are going to be out in the sun a lot. Going back to beauty, I actually bought this bundle of four Real Technique sponges. They're super soft, bouncy, bouncy. They also have this flat surface here and it actually has a little printed logo Real Techniques. Which is pretty cool uh, i haven't tried these sponges before but like i said i got this in a bundle four i just put them in this little plastic container for the moment now moving on to browns we have the essence gel and brow mascara so this is actually i bought this in hopes of it being similar to the brow gel of anastasia beverly hills of course this is more of a budget friendly option as you can tell it's like a spoolie it's clear it doesn't really have much of a scent to it as I expected. You're not, these products are not supposed to be scented. It is fairly reasonable for the size and the price. Like I said, it's, it was like less than $3. And I haven't tried this personally, but I actually have seen someone else use this to help keep their brows up. Um, if you're not a fan of clear brow mascara, you can also try tinted brow mascara. I've tried the NYX one and it works wonders for me. And the last brow product that I got is a Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in this shade Chocolate Mousse. 
This is what it looks like. I've actually tried their NYX uh, brow pencil before and I like it. I actually have bought two. I'm on my second one right now. I've decided to buy Morphe this time around to give it a try. I heard that it's a lot creamier and smoother when applying to the eyebrows. So I I hope that it's it gives much cleaner, not cleaner, but much of a smoother application compared to the NYX. With the NYX, I definitely do have to go over a couple times in order to get that pigmentation. It does feel a little creamy but I want something to be a little creamier and pigmented when I glide it on on my eyebrows. And the product that I was actually dying to get at Ulta is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And this is what it looks like. I've actually seen this all over on social media. A lot of people compare this primer to the Milk face primer. It actually has a very similar color per se. As you can tell, the bottle is definitely different, but I can't wait to try this next time I do a full face of makeup. Last but not least, uh, in terms of the primer gang, is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is actually my first time using it. I, I can see that it definitely diminished the appearance of my pores. I do have very large pores, especially like I said on my T-zone. Um, I wasn't really expecting much again. When it comes to your pores, you do have to have a good skincare routine and definitely wash your face thoroughly as long as well as with a face exfoliant or an a toner. So that will definitely help the appearance of pores. Now that we've come to the end of the haul, I am most excited about trying the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is, it's supposed to really like hold on and stick your makeup. It does supposed to, it's supposed to feel sticky on your face similar to the milk as at least from what I've heard. This is definitely the product that I want to use next in either my personal life or if I use it in a future video. You guys will see how well it holds my makeup. If you guys want to see a video of this product to see how well it holds up throughout the day, like as a like day of walking, things like that, and to give you all updates throughout the day checking in, please go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will make a video about this with my overall thoughts. Like I said, I haven't tried this, but I'm excited to have something that's a similar dupe to Milk, Milk's Primer. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for a little surprise in the bloopers and I'll see you guys next time. So like I mentioned earlier, makeup is full of creativity and this is what I created. If you're wondering what I use on my lips, I actually have the lipstick of Fenty Beauty and I actually used Air Glow on my lips and I'm fulfilling my unicorn dream. Thank you so much for watching. It has a doe foot applique. <laughs> you recording already? The next product that I picked up is actually the Urban Decay. My chair made a noise. <laughs>